So this video is going to show you how to use Facebook as a page and why you'd want to do that. The main reason um, why you want to log in as a page is mainly to develop relationships with partner organizations or partner businesses. So I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. But the first thing I'll show you is how to log in as a page. When you log into Facebook.com, you're going to be logged in as you, the person, by default, all the time. Okay, And over in the upper right-hand corner of Facebook, you'll see a down arrow. If you click on this, you can simply choose the page that you want to log in as. If I click on the nonprofit Facebook guy, I'm automatically going to be logged in as the nonprofit Facebook guy. The second way to log in as a page is simply go to your Facebook page and click on use Facebook as whatever the name of your page is on the right hand side. If I click on this, now my identity throughout Facebook is going to be the page, almost like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. All right? So we can see that even the icon at the top of Facebook, it's no longer me, John Hayden, it's the page. Okay? If we look across the top, we see that these notifications, which normally would be, you know, you would see these notifications for you as a person, these are now for the page. Okay, so it says, you know, Laura Novak likes the link that I shared on Facebook on my wall. Okay, uh, we have comments. So Kathy commented on a photo. If I click on this, I'm going to go to that photo. I'm going to see those comments. Okay, you can do this, by the way, as a person. Um, but just so that you know, you when you look at notifications up here, there are going to be notifications about your page, not you, the person. Okay, under uh, this icon right here, which is usually friend requests when you're logged in as a person, this is now showing you the latest people to like your page. So if you want to see who's been liking your page most recently, it's all right here. Okay. Uh, now, finally, if we click on Facebook, um, you know the logo right here we're going to see a couple of things that are different. First of all, we have the nonprofit Facebook guy, my page up in the left. I have news feed, insights, events, all the stuff that I can access. On the right hand side, I see a summary of insights, basically what's been happening with my page over the past week. We can see that there are 91 new likes over the past seven days. 177 people are talking about my page in the past week. If I mouse over the green up arrow, I can see that that's a huge increase since the previous week. So past seven days, 177 people talking about this page. And that is an increase of 86% compared to the previous seven days. Okay, Total reach, same idea. So 4,152 people have been reached with this page in the past week. And then that is an increase of 65.8% compared to the previous seven days. By the way, reach is talking about unique Facebook users, not impressions. All right. Now, the most important thing about logging in as a page, in my opinion, is that you can actually create relationships with other pages. Now, why would you want to do that? You would want to do that so that you establish a relationship of reciprocity and you leverage the law of reciprocity. All right. So, for example, if I do something good for these people, on some level, they feel like, oh, we kind of owe John, so we're going to promote him. Okay? You don't want to be keeping track. Obviously, that's not the attitude you want to have. You just want to have an attitude of promoting other pages' agendas. Okay? So in my case, what I've done is I've done a little bit of research, and I've actually liked pages that some of my fans are managing. And what will I do with this? I will you know, go down the news feed and as appropriate as it kind of moves me, and I think that's important, you know, it ha everything that you do as a, either a page or a person on Facebook, you know, it has to be sincere. As a person, you don't have to worry about that because you're sincere all the time. But it's really difficult sometimes for us to think in terms of a business being sincere or a nonprofit being sincere, okay? But ultimately, it all ties back to you, the person. So you, the person, you are managing this Facebook page. Okay, so if we scroll down, we could see that the Case Foundation, for example, thanks Global Health Corps for stopping by to share stories from your fellowship work in DC. We are all inspired. I know those guys a little bit. I can just add something. You know, I could just say they do they do awesome work. Notice how it's commenting as the page. Okay? I can also like this and I can also share it. Now what happens when I share an update? What it does is it reposts it on my page's wall. Okay, So let's see if I can find something really interesting. 
So here's the Edmonton Humane Society. Okay, I'm just gonna share this video, a cute video of a puppy playing with his new best friend to start your day, enjoy. I'm just gonna share this on my wall and I'm gonna say video to end your day as well. Okay, and then I will share it, okay? That's gonna show up on my wall. If we go back to my page, we can see that that shows up on my wall. All right. Now what happens is that Edmonton Humane Society, if they're paying attention, if they're doing their job, they're going to actually notice that I shared it and they'll say, oh, the nonprofit Facebook guy shared this. Let's not forget about him. Okay. So that's sharing, liking, commenting. Now the other thing you could do is you could also tag a Facebook page in an update. So for example, I could say tagging Blackbaud. Bod. just because, okay, I'm going to share that. And then what happens in this case is that BlackBot gets a notification that I tag them. Again, we're working this law of reciprocity and there are three things that go along with that. First of all, BlackBot gets a notification that the nonprofit Facebook guy tagged their page. Second, uh, my update shows up on their page. So if we click on everyone, most recent, we can see that the nonprofit Facebook guy shows up here. The third thing is that it, again, leverages this idea of reciprocity where BlackBot now feels like, okay, cool, you know, we should really um, not forget about John and promote his page as well. Again, don't have a mindset of keeping track of you know who owes you what because that's not really the attitude you want to have you just want to have an attitude of going through your main news feed and thinking about like who do we want to promote what makes sense to kind of support someone's agenda and in general you want to be active you want to be present okay and it really doesn't take a lot of time I would say once a day if that and just see if you can add a comment or two or like something what this does again just to conclude everything here is that you have thousands of rafts floating down this river of Facebook. By doing this, what you're doing is you're actually strapping together with these other rafts, and that way you can deal with the raging rivers of Facebook. So, I hope this is helpful, and we'll talk soon.